We're speaking with Claire Scriven, the South Australian Regional Development Minister, calling in from Wallaroo. Minister, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Now, I understand a big announcement's being made this week during the community cabinet meetings in Wallaroo about regional housing. You and I have talked about this, wow, even during the election campaign. Is the action finally happening? Yeah, look, we're rolling out uh, some really exciting initiatives. So the first one is going to be the Regional Key Worker Housing Scheme. So what we're trying to do there is uh, create a continuous pipeline of homes, which initially will help delivery of housing to attract and retain essential workers. So that's our police, our teachers, healthcare workers, that kind of role in, in our key country areas. So, um, you know, for example, in my own area of Mount Gambia, uh, I heard of teachers who came to the area. We know we need teachers, but for two terms they lived in a caravan because they couldn't get housing. Here on the York Peninsula where we are at the moment, we've heard similar stories. And we know how important it is to attract health workers, nurses, uh, uh, ambulance officers, teachers, police, the list goes on. But without housing, then we can't do that. So this is a really important first part. This is going to be um, a trial, initially 30 houses across uh, five different areas. Uh, and that will be, uh, I guess, the first tranche. And then there's opportunities to expand that uh, and roll it out uh, to deliver more homes uh, and also uh, potentially to be... Uh, to deliver these in conjunction with private investors under long-term lease arrangements as well. So it's uh, you know, an exciting announcement uh, and it's a really excellent step towards helping to solve some of the housing crisis that we know we face in regional areas. So Claire Scriven, MLC, I understand that there's going to be a new office for regional housing within Renewal SA. Is that going to be a long part of that long-term plan of working with councils about not only, I guess, the funding but also the infrastructure needs, say, through SA Water and also the planning reform needed so that councils can really easily enable more housing to get put on? It's really important that we do have someone who can, I guess, be that central point and coordinator and that uh, place to get information for the different things that are involved in regional housing. So uh, we know that we need different solutions in regions. We need them to be tailored for different regions because the issues that are facing people in Metropolitan Adelaide, for example, are not the same as those that are facing people in Sejuna and Port Augusta and Mount Gambia and Riverland and the Copper Coast, etc. So the Office for Regional Housing will be really important in terms of uh, coordinating uh, not only the scheme that we've just talked about, the Regional Key Worker Housing Scheme, but also other housing projects where we might be able to work with uh, not-for-profits or with uh, private employers and so on to be able to actually assist um, local government agencies, assist local councils, assist regional development authorities to be able to help get more housing into the regional areas. Now, we note that housing has been one of the key challenges, as you say, to attract, say, health workers, but the labour force needs across regional Australia are quite dire. Um, are you expecting this will actually help alleviate labour shortages? To an extent, yes, because when I'm out in the regional areas, which I am most of the time, the number one issue that people come to me with is uh, workforce, and the number two issue, which is related to workforce, is housing. Uh, And, of course, housing is both an economic problem in that sense, but also a really important community um, issue to to be solved. So it will help uh, both of those things. And if we can assist private employers potentially in the future uh, to be involved in this program to assist them in being able to house their workers, then when they attract workers, they'll actually have somewhere for them to live as well. So is it appropriate at this stage for people to reach out to this new agency or to the government to express interest? Is there a website or something they can go to and say, look, we'd like to be part of trying to get something on, say, you know, in Border Town or somewhere like that? Uh, look, the office is being established from today. Uh, so shortly there will be those opportunities and we would encourage, uh, you know, whether it's businesses or whoever, to reach out as early as possible. Uh, the Premier and the uh, Treasurer have uh, briefed today uh, local government uh, and, of course, we were talking with the Copper Coast Councils in person at Country Cabinet uh, yesterday and today. So uh, they're already aware of it, um, but we would encourage uh, where there is interest to definitely to reach out because I think um, just coming back again to the idea that we need, it's not one size fits all, we need to have tailored solutions for different regional areas uh, and that's where these announcements and the Office of Regional Housing will have um, a, a, key play, a key part to play. And Claire, just before you go, uh, you've been part of the community cabinet. This is the is this the first one under the Malinowskis government, or did you have one down in the southeast late last year as well? 
Uh, we had one in the southeast last year as well as in the upper Spencer Gulf. Uh, and we also had a, a, a mini one in the Riverland prior to it, when the floods were approaching. So, uh, yeah, so this is the first one though this year, you know, since, uh, since Christmas. And it's been really good. We had, uh, I think it was around about 250 people at the public forum last night. That's where they're able to ask uh, you know, any minister any question that's, that's of, of concern to them. And it was really good to see such a strong turnout from the local community and also the breadth of Christians. Uh, housing, of course, was one that came up a number of times, uh, as well as you know, that and a number of different issues. Um, some of those issues are you know, common across regional areas and some were specific to the Copper Coast, uh, but it was a, a very, very good turnout. And these two days have been very, very useful for ministers um, and the Premier. Uh, we've all been out meeting with you know, local uh, organisations, uh, I've had a number of different site visits in my primary industries portfolio, uh, as well as the public forum and then the actual cabinet meeting today, where we hear from all of the local councils about some of their priorities for the region. Yeah, I understand these didn't happen for four years under the Marshall Liberal government. It's just restarting what Labor used to do when they were previously in office. Uh, yeah, I think it was a real missed opportunity by the former Liberal government. Um, yeah, the, the kind of response that we've had, people are just saying, look, we just love the opportunity to be able to put our case firsthand to ministers and to the whole cabinet. And of course, we also have the chief executives of the government departments there as well. So they can hear firsthand and they can follow up immediately. So it's really good. And the response that we've been having at the different regional communities is that people really, really appreciate it. Uh, and frankly, it was just very disappointing under the former Liberal government that they didn't want to get out into the regions and hear firsthand from people. I mean, what better way can you find out what's, you know, what? Uh, what people's concerns are, what the priorities are, what the opportunities are, unless you're listening firsthand. And that's what this, uh, what Country Cabinet is, and I'm so glad that I'm part of uh, uh, the Malnaskis Labor government that has reintroduced them. Claire Scriven is the Primary Industries Minister and Regional Development Minister. I think there's a few other hats you wear as well, Claire. We'll talk about them next time. Thanks for joining us today on Flow. Thanks so much, Ricky.